Hey guys, the Bank of Japan announced today that if 10-year bonds rise to 2%, which they're trying very hard to do, the Bank of Japan will be sitting on a $400 billion loss. That's about 8% of GDP, and in US terms, it would be about $1.8 trillion. The Fed, indeed the entire world, isn't far behind. The Fed is now technically bankrupt, liabilities are greater than assets, for the first time in its history, and it's now losing about $2 billion a week, that's about $100 billion a year. So what does this mean for the rest of us? Counterintuitively, the losses don't mean as much as it seems, because the damage was done when the money was printed. So the main real-world impact of a bankrupt central bank is that remittances paid to the government dry up. These are commissions that central banks pay to governments every year for giving them the right to counterfeit currency. In the case of the Fed, before COVID, they had been turning over about $100 billion a year to Congress in profits. It makes these profits, by the way, because the Fed prints up money, lends it out, and then books interest on those counterfeitings. Now, $100 billion is a chunk of change. It's about half what the government takes in corporate income taxes. But beyond this, there's not that much impact, even if they pile up trillions in losses. It simply means Congress won't get their $100 billion a check, $100 billion a year commission. Maybe they'll never get it again. They'll either have to cut spending, good luck with that, or they'll raise taxes again. Now to see why, imagine you're a counterfeiter who just printed a million dollars in the basement and then you pull an all-nighter, losing 90% of it on FTX trading altcoins. Is it a problem? Well, if you pretend the original money was real, it's a catastrophe, the worst day ever. You lost 90%, $900,000. But given the original money was fake, it's actually meaningless. It's just an annual commission you will no longer be paying to Congress anymore. Now that doesn't mean it's harmless. It just means the losses are not the poison, the printing was the poison. Since COVID began, more than $10 trillion have been printed by the central banks of the world. So that's the Fed, the ECB, Bank of Japan, Australia, Canada, essentially every major central bank printed up a ton of money. This is why we're getting this inflation now. And printing all that money effectively seized a huge hunk of the accumulated wealth of humanity. So take those counterfeiters in the basement and multiply that by <laughs> millions and millions of them. And they all pumped those counterfeitings into your life savings, water into the wine of your accumulated wealth. Now, where did that accumulated wealth go? Almost all of it went to governments and to rich borrowers because it was used to subsidize borrowing, right? To make borrowing super cheap, they did this because they wanted to goose the economy. They also did it in order to finance the COVID lockdowns. And of course, all of it with a commission to the national governments who keep the siphon running. So whether the counterfeit dollars made a profit is irrelevant. The crime was their creation. So what's next? These bank panics all but guarantee a return to COVID era, industrial scale siphoning of humanity's wealth via, you guessed it, central bank money printing, which will lead to yet more losses, probably again, announcements like today's trillion dollar loss at the Bank of Japan. We should expect to see that scale of announcements from an increasing number of central banks. All right, we'll be watching this. See you next time.